Hi, welcome to Dream Daddy. Hi, my name's Brody. <laughs> and my name is also Brody. And we're playing no, Dream it's Daddy. Not. I leave Wait, the no. I don't remember any of the character, any of the voices I gave these characters because it's legitimately been about three weeks since we've played this game. Yeah. Probably. I was I about to say the exact more. same thing. I was legit about to say the exact um, same thing. I leave We're the gonna be reinventing the wheel here at Green Boys. <laughs> and make my way out of the school. I'm still a little bit in shock that Amanda was able to hide this so well from me. She's always been a force of for positivity in my life, especially after we lost her father. Amanda uh, must be done with classes for the day by now. I'm sure she would appreciate a ride home, and maybe I can talk to her about what's going on. Wait, what was going on? I completely forgot. She, I, th I think she was like she had she had bad grades because she wasn't really trying very hard. Oh no. Um, I pull up to the carpool, and Amanda hops in the passenger seat. Oh wait, I'm Amanda. Yeah, Brody. Um. Oh, shit. Hold on. I, it was a I fairly really normal to... voice. Reinvent the wheel. Oh, sh and brother. Oh, wait. I'm not allowed it. to say that. Sorry. I have to believe uh, that. I'm so s Uh. So, did you have fun gossiping about me? There you go. That's what it was. Oh, wow. Okay. Mr. Vega and I actually just gossiped about our celebrity crushes. So, you talked about Mario Batali the whole time. It was a very productive meeting. Oh. I'm pretty hungry. Can we grab some dinner? Isn't it like 2 o'clock? Sure no, thing. No, it's 10.59. We can make something at home. Let's go to the mall food court. Mall food yeah! court. Yeah! Does that sound good to you? Yeah, sure. Why the mall? Oh, I see. Okay. Jeez, can a dad take his daughter to the mall? Daughter to the mall? Will you buy me things? I will buy you a thing. Singular. Sounds like a deal to me. We drive in silence for a short while. Amanda plays a game on her phone. I should say something. You know, sometimes when a, ki when a kid gets older, they find that they have to keep things hidden from their parents. And that's okay, because sometimes that's what kids do. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> And that's okay. And also, sometimes it's good to have the parents' perspective because, you know, maybe the parents have also dealt with similar situations. And maybe they're a little cooler than you give them credit for. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is that it's good to, sh to share. Love you. Have you been reading my tweets? You have a Twitter? Huh? What? Never mind. <laughs> Look, sweetie. Mr. Vega said that you haven't been participating in class and that you're not turning things in. Oh, I'm fine, Pops. Senioritis and all that. I thought you liked Mr. Vega's class. It's fine. He's fine. Doesn't sound like he's fine. And it's fine. We pull up to a stoplight and I, Amanda. She's still texting. Just, I want you to know that you can talk to me about anything. Uh, uh-huh. I can tell that whatever it is, she doesn't want me to know about it. That's a, that's frustrating. Uh, I heard Emma R is going to that fancy art school in California. That's exciting. Hey. Yep. Are you bummed that you guys aren't going to going to the same school? Yep. Amanda keeps texting. Texting. She stifles a laugh. What's so funny? Yeah. Uh, it's a. I don't think you'd get it. It, okay, like I keep looking at their eyes. Like Chad's eyes are there's he has no pupils. He's just they're just completely green, mm -hmm. and it's the same shade as his hair, which is kind of weird to begin with. But also, I keep looking. I've already said this before, but Amanda's eyes, her pupils are yellow. Yeah, and I don't understand that. But you know, art, Charlie. It's art. You wouldn't understand. I I don't know what art is, but. Dot, 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 dot. Who you text him? Noah. Who's Noah? Oh, God! She's got a boyfriend! Noah! Hi, friend. Does he go to your school? Mm. Yep. Yeah. Oh, she's rolling her eyes at us. Do you mm. like Noah? What? No! 
Oh! Dad! Ah. Uh, I can't believe you would... Dad. I can't believe you would, Dad. I mean, jeez. Why would you... Ah. Uh, gross. Sorry, sorry, just asking. Also, like... When you when the dad thing came up, there was like an actual like voice line thing that came out, and it was like, "Dad." It was it was dad. Dad, he's just my friend. Is my mom? My mom is home. Hold on, time out. <laughs> he's, just, he's just my friend. Is my mom? <laughs> Guys and girls can be friends. He is my friend. Okay. okay. God. Dang it, Ma! Jeez! There you go. Oh, Jesus! Voice track. Never heard the voice crack. Owie. Never heard that. I've never seen that spelled with a G. I've always seen it spelled with a J. What do you, dude? What? The G's. Yeah, uh, I've, it, I've, I've only it. seen it spelled with a G. Oh, but yeah, it's, it looks like geese. This is going well. Mm. Well, good talk. Love you, kiddo. She leans forward and turns up the radio. Guess that conversation is over. To the mall, then. Uh, we arrive at the mall. A big indoor shopping center with a couple of different floors. It's kind of dead, but that doesn't stop a mall security guard from yelling at a group of loitering teens. Let's eat something disgusting for dinner. Hell yeah. I like the bushes. I like the mall. It looks nice. It is a very nice looking mall. Very Language, good. Missy. Huh? Heck yeah. Better. Hmm? We approach the food court and evaluate our options. There's greasy restaurant after greasy restaurant. My heart burns just looking at the menus. Nobody looks happy to be there. Are you in the mood for bread dipped in sugar, bread with cheese on it, or do you just want me to inject some fat directly into your bloodstream? <laughs> I extend my hand to her. Would you do me the honor of sharing some nachos? She takes my hand with a grin. It would make me the happiest, cheesiest girl alive. I want to be the cheesiest girl alive. Too bad. <laughs> we order a giant pile of chips and unnaturally orange cheese from a very unenthusiastic and possibly stoned teenager. We take a seat at a rickety table and dig in. These are bad. These are very bad. But also strangely delicious. We have to eat through the pain. <laughs> um, we enjoy uh, the fluorescent cheesy goodness uh, together until we're all out of nachos. So, something's been bothering me for a while. Can you explain memes to me? <laughs> Wait, no, oh, hold on. I'm just imagining him saying, Can you explain memes to me? May memes. May memes. <sighs> Which meme? All. All memes. Oh my god, this would be really hard because a lot of memes, <laughs> a lot of like up and coming memes right now are like, super post ironic so you'd have to explain the original meme and then the concept of like yeah. the ironic meme jesus this would be i made a size really deeply helpful. in places yeah i already read that right. yeah it's complicated see memes are inside jokes shared by a bunch of people that gets less funny the more people do it <laughs> so the problem is that by the time the meme gets to you dad all us youths have already done the joke to death and what's worse than that is that the movies and TV and video games will try and jump in on the meme train, but just based on how long it takes to make them, the meme will be long dead by the time it comes out. So it just dates it, and it isn't funny. Mmm. <laughs> mm -mm 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 -mm. I refuse to read that. <laughs> Dad, please. I feel like that joke is just gonna get worse and worse the older this game gets. Yeah, that's, that, that's the point. That's the, that's the. I mean, yeah, I know, but still. Anyway, changing the subject. Isn't it like a three-year-old meme at this point? Where to now? Uh, yeah, actually. It might even be four, honestly. I think it might, it might have been a 2015 thing. Facebook killed that boy. That's the saddest. <laughs> Want to go it. to that goth store? What? 
you know, the one that's all black and tries to establish itself as an anti-establishment despite being the exact representation of establishment? I don't know what store you're talking about. You know, the one where you can buy chain wallets and it's basically an assault on the people who fought so hard against... Uh, uh, sorry, <laughs> on what people fought so hard against in the punk and <laughs> hardcore movements of the 70s and 80s. Dude, you gotta be more specific. The one you threw up in that one time? Oh, that one! Hot topic, let's go. Amanda yeah. runs into the store with me trailing behind her. She makes a beeline for the back. There it is! You can still see the outline, kinda. <laughs> oh boy. God, that's... I'm so... proud? Speech! Amanda? Speech! 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 <laughs> the last one's just SPEE! SPEE! <laughs> Alright, I'll do it if you stop chanting! Amanda <laughs> stops immediately. I clear my throat. <laughs> Speak! <clears throat> Thank you all for joining us here today to commemorate an, uh, an historic moment <laughs> that would forever shape history. On a day very much like today, some five years ago, our very own Amanda Ann Payne had too much b <laughs> blue raspberry slushy on an outing to the mall. Wait, imagine if you if you if you made your last name Ann. So that'd be Amanda Ann Ann. Or if you made your last name mm. Amanda. Amanda Ann Amanda. <laughs> Amanda Payne. <laughs> After begging her father to take her to to do, dead goth and beyond to buy a rainbow mm. to buy. I cannot read to buy rainbow suspenders. She pro she. Pr Charlie, are you having a show? <laughs> She proceeded to throw up all over a display of My Chemical Romance merchandise. Her loving father then had to pay for said merchandise, which remains <laughs> among our possessions. <laughs> which to this day remains among our possessions. Thank you. That's awesome. Amanda's moved. <laughs> she begins clapping. Slow at first, then faster and more vigorously. Several patrons turn their heads, and one of them starts clapping. I bow my head. The one thing, though, is that That'd be really expensive, especially if you're going off like hot yeah. topic prices. It's like twenty five dollars mm -hmm. for one shirt, and she probably threw up on like at least like six of them. That's one. That's one of the reasons I don't like hot topic is that everything there is ridiculously expensive. Yeah. The other reason is that no matter what store and what and no matter what store I go to and no matter what mall it's in, the AC never works. It's <laughs> always like an oven in there. I don't know why. I've, I've never experienced that. Um, I've never gone in a temperature-controlled Hot Topic in my life. Oh. Oh, hey, Chain Wallace. That's you. I didn't realize. Oh, hey, Chain Wallace. <laughs> oh, hey, Chain Wallace. <laughs> oh, Brody. Hey, Chain Wallace. Oh. Well, Amanda busies herself looking at the band t-shirts. I try to find something to interest myself. Oh, hey, Chain Wallace. Not much for a dad, oh, hey, to, <laughs> Not much for a dad to look at in Dead Goth and Beyond. Um, I would uh, peruse uh, the band T-shirts. Look at ironic mugs. Check the clearance bin for hot deals. Or oh hey, chain wallets. Look, uh, hey, 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 chain wallets. I think I think clearance bin is a very dad thing to do. Yeah, I mean I would do that even. Me too. Am I just a tiny dad? No. <laughs> uh, there's a big cardboard box of marked down items. I'm pretty sure four dollars for purple eye eyeliner is a good deal. I think. Oh, hey, Chain Wallets. I wonder if oh, I would look good in purple eyeliner. Hell yes, I would. Chad is the most fabulous man alive. Now, who do you think can do a better... I, I know for a fact who this is going to be, because I saw him on the thing. It's the guy who looks like a vampire. And so we need to decide who can do a better vampire voice. Can we do, like... I do not say blah blah blah. <laughs> <laughs> blah blah blah. I do not blah, say blah blah. blah blah blah. Good vampire. Vampire. So, so I'd be like, no. look, this is very important to me. This is very important to me. Not I that. am a vampire. You you sound like a like. Welcome to Transylvania. You sound like sick Mario. Hey Luigi. <laughs> 
like, ah, fetch me some Advil. I gotta go save the princess, but my head is my killing me. My joints are burning. Hey, Luigi. Hey, Luigi, Go look. get me some ginger ale. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm about to throw up. I don't know why that, that specific quote was so funny. Just, get me some ginger ale. <laughs> get me some ginger ale. I had one, two pieces to what? <laughs> <laughs> I had one, two I had pieces. I one, too many pieces of spicy chicken pizza. I had one, two pizzas. I had one, two pizzas of spicy pizza. Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia. I'll give you a second chance to do your vampire voice that doesn't sound like my no, Charlie, you need to do more voices. Charlie, go. Oh, alright. I mean... I over oh my god, it is a vampire. I know, I told you. <laughs> I overheard a stifled argument over at the cash register. An older gentleman is carrying a, a garment and showing it to a bored-looking cashier with pink hair. Uh, you can be the cashier. It's not that good. Alright, cashier's uh, Mario. I can see that. Don't you don't <laughs> I can see that. You don't as don't as Oh I hey chain wallets. I'm illiterate. I don't know what to tell you, dude. I I just work here. Oh hey chain wallets. What? Oh hey what chain. Was that? There was like a voice I was like What? What? Listen. When I bought I this online, the website said that this blouse was was Victorian inspired. However, I received when I received it. It clearly <laughs> held the trademark of Ed Edward Edwardian dressage. He sounds German uh, now. Do you want a coupon? I can give you a coupon. Will you leave if I give you a coupon? <laughs> coupon? Will you leave What's if I give you? What's it supposed to be then? Will you leave if I give you a chain wallet? I've got <laughs> some, I've got some chain wallets. We've got so many of them. <laughs> Please, Please just take one. People just keep noticing them and not buying them. They're overflowing the store. <laughs> it's all we have. Actually, we our our coupons are just chain wallets. We just wrote on them. All right. Um, is there a manager present? People have to know what they're buying. I'm changing his voice a little bit. I am the manager. <laughs> I see. Ah. Well, but it seems that I have outstayed my welcome. Good day, shopkeep. Your superiors will receive a strongly worded letter by post. Whatever, dude. <laughs> he just, like, tapes it to a carrier pigeon and, like, sends it off to their... <laughs> throws it at tapes the side it. of their headquarters. T throws the pigeon? Yes. <laughs> the man whirls around and storms out, his literal coattails trailing behind him. I can't tell if they're Victorian-inspired or Edwardian in nature. Lena traps up to me with a t-shirt in her hand. Oh boy, here it comes. Oh hey, boy. Deadtron 5000! Yes, I'll buy it for you. <laughs> wow, that was easy, thanks. You're welcome. At least it's only one this time. Amanda plops the shirt under the counter and greens the cashier. I love your hair. The cashier says nothing and rings Amanda up. <laughs> Radi radiating hatred, I hand her a 20. Oh, <laughs> it was a woman. Alright. Yeah, I knew it was. So, I kind of figured. I did too, but so what was that guy's deal? The cashier rolls her eyes so hard, I'm worried she'll pull something. That's Damien. He's in here all the time. He's obsessed with Victorian fashion or whatever. Uh, she hands Amanda her bag, and it's a clear. it's clear the conversation is over. We make our way out of the store and head home to get some uh, rest. I, ho I wish the cashier was a recurring character. I really like that voice. You can use it for someone else. All right. Um, Man and I sit on the couch trying to find something to watch over bowls of ice cream. Oh, cool. Long haul paranormal ice cream ghost truck road tru ghost trucker is on. Your favorite, right? Oh, my God. It's long haul paranormal ice road ghost truckers with chain wallets. <laughs> Oh, hey, Chain Wallet. I'm hoping to run this joke into the ground. <laughs> Just like the May May. Oh, hell yes. They have to make it over the Canadian tundra with their Chain Wallets before the ice road melts, and the... but they're also hunting ghosts. Also, the trucks are hunted. This is an episode I've already seen, but it's one of the best. Callum and Flint Dogbone, <laughs> the twin brother truck driving and ghost hunting duo, find themselves in the greatest peril yet. Haunted Wallets. 
<laughs> yeah, you can be Callum. I'll be the other one. All right. Oh no! The ghosts done got control of the truck. I can't steer them there. Damn ice roads. Let me use this EVP meter to try and communicate with the spirits. Flint, we're about to die. I almost got it. I just changed his voice halfway through, but if you listen carefully, it sounds like I'm saying, you're going to die. That's <laughs> because we're about to die, you! This is art. <laughs> the episode ends and Amanda excuses herself uh, to go and start arguments on the internet. I stay up a little longer, curious about the exploits of Callum and Flint, Dogbone, after their disastrous ice road incident. After a crawl into bed and, uh, and get a uh, good n sleep... <laughs> um, Charlie. It's Grow your time own vegetables. For sleep. Uh, it's also bye. time to end the video. Goodbye. Chad Payne is experiencing some lit. Th I don't know. Z -z 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 Thanks for watching the epic uh, diaries of the Chad Payne. Chadical. Pain. <laughs> I like to call just, him Chad. Just end the episode. Chad, Chadrick, ouch. Um, get out of my house, Brody.